This lesson is about how to create a watercolor jellyfish painting just like this one you see here. You're going to need a thick piece of white paper, some watercolors, water cup and some paint brushes, an old rag or towel, some regular salt, and some crayons. Don't forget to have a messy mat to cover your area and keep your space clean while you are working. Before we begin, let's talk about our two color families that we will be using, the warm colors and the cool colors. Our jellyfish uses our warm colors, red, yellow, and orange, while our background uses our cool colors, blue, green, and purple. By using these two color families together, we will create nice contrasts in our paintings. You can choose any warm color crayon that you would like to start drawing your jellyfish. I'm using a yellow to start the first curving line that's going to be the top of my jellyfish. It kind of looks like a rainbow, it's nice and curved. Then I'm going to use a bumpy line to create another line that's gonna close off the bottom of my jellyfish. Notice that this line does not go straight, it's also curved as well. Then I'm going to use another bumpy line to create a curving line going the opposite direction to create the bottom of the jellyfish. So it has this 3D look. Then I'm going to add a curving line at the top with some lines that are gonna come down off of it. I'm gonna change my color here to use an orange, and I'm gonna connect those straight lines to the tips of all of my bumpy lines on my jellyfish top. Then I'm going to select another color, and I'm going to use that color to create a design up at the top, kind of like a flower-like design with some petals and some little petals on the inside, but you can choose any design that you would like here. Then I'm going to add in some dots along the top of my jellyfish using my kind of pinkish red color here and I'm also going to add in some orange. I also use my orange line to create a curving line above that yellow line that I drew at the top of my jellyfish. Next I'm going to go down and I'm going to draw in the tentacles of my jellyfish. I'm gonna use a wiggly line that's going to start in the middle of my jellyfish cap and come down and use another wiggly line that's gonna come off of it and connect at the bottom. Then I'm going to use this reddish pink color crayon to create some squiggly wiggly lines all in the inside of this big tentacle. They kind of are wiggly, fun, bumpy, wavy lines that go all the way from the top to the bottom. And I'm gonna layer these lines together. It's okay if your lines overlap. I'm gonna create some lines to fill in all of this tentacle here in the center. Next, I'm gonna draw in the long wiggly squiggly tentacles using that same color crayon, and I'm just creating these long wavy lines that connect from the top of the jellyfish to the bottom. And I'm gonna go and do this on both sides of the jellyfish, and then I'm gonna layer in some other colors on top. Again, you can choose any colors that you would like to make the tentacles as well as every part of your jellyfish. And once I finish tracing over the tentacles with my orange crayon, I'm gonna use my red to trace back over that bumpy line at the top of the jellyfish, as well as some of the outlines of the tentacles. And then I'm going to use my white crayon for my next set of lines. This is my magic crayon, because you will not be able to see it right now since it's a white crayon on white paper. But once we add our watercolor, you're gonna see it pop out because the watercolor will not stick to the crayon. And now that we are done with the drawing, it is time to start painting. We're gonna be painting in those warm and those cool colors using watercolors. I'm using a 16 count watercolor palette by Crayola. You can use any palette that you would like. And if you don't have watercolors, you can even check out my video about do-it-yourself watercolors. I'm gonna begin using my yellow on the top of my jellyfish and blending in some orange watercolor. Anytime you wanna do blends with watercolor, the secret is to make sure that the watercolor stays wet. You can blend while the colors are wet, but once it dries, you will not be able to blend really well. I'm also gonna start seeing some of that white crayon peeking through like magic because the watercolor is not sticking to it. However, if you paint too heavy with your watercolor just like this, use your towel to tap out some of that color so you can reveal your designs underneath. If you can't see your designs, that means you're putting too much color and not enough water. Remember, this is watercolor, so you wanna make sure that your brush has water on it and you're blending those colors around. So I'm gonna start mixing in some of those warm colors on my jellyfish top. I'm using yellow, orange, and red, and and then I'm gonna add in more of that red on the underside of my jellyfish since it's in shadow. It's the underside, I want it to be a little bit darker. And I'm gonna have fun picking any of my warm colors to finish painting over my jellyfish. 
painting in all the tentacles and making sure I'm only painting in the jellyfish and not the background. And once I'm done painting my jellyfish, I'm going to clean my brush out and I'm going to use my cool colors to paint in the background around my jellyfish. And this is when I'm going to use my salt as well. I'm going to use that salt on the watercolor while it's wet to create a really cool water texture. Again, remember, if you want to blend these colors really well, you've got to blend while the colors are wet. And our watercolor stretches pretty far. Check out how far I was able to stretch this blob of blue paint. I was able to make it go really far before I needed to dip my brush in color again. And I'm sprinkling the salt on my watercolor while it's wet and leaving it to dry so it can start to create that really cool water texture. I'm going to finish painting in the background using my cool colors, blue, green, and purple, making sure that I'm blending as I go and using my salt to create that really cool water-like texture. And I also want to remember to make sure I'm not painting on top of my jellyfish. I wanna keep it clean so I can see the difference between my jellyfish and the water. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of these drops of water on the background as well and let that sit to dry because it's also going to create a really cool water-like texture. Remember, if you have harsh blends like this, you can make those blends softer by using a wet brush and going in a circular motion to blend those colors together. And once you are done with your painting, you are going to want to leave it to completely dry before we move to the next step. So I'm gonna leave my painting alone, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I can come back in with my crayons to do some more shading details. I like to layer the crayons on top of the watercolor just to help make those lines pop back out so I can see my colors really well, and it kinda of helps to add in some depth into my pictures by creating a little bit more of some shadows. I really wanted to push some more of that dark color underneath my jellyfish cap, so I used my red crayon to shade in underneath, and I used that red crayon to create some more shading up on the top of the jellyfish on each of those little wiggles. And I also went back over each of those tentacles with some different color crayons to make those pop out a little bit more as well. And finally, I used a white oil pastel to just add in some white lines as well. If you do not have a white oil pastel, you could always use a little bit of some white paint. And I'm adding in some bubbles in the background, as well as some little squiggly wiggly lines to create some water highlights. And that will complete my watercolor jellyfish painting. <music> 